Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to create a watermark using Corel Draw. Uh, the first thing you need to do, of course, is bring the picture in with which you want to create the water drop, the watermark onto. Uh, I've got the picture here, and I've actually got some text just saying company name. Just so, if you want to put your company name in as a watermark, just use the text tool and make a text with your company name in it. Next thing we need to do is we need to select the company name text and then select the transparency tool. Now to get to the transparency tool, it's located here. It usually comes up as a blend tool by default, but if you left click and hold your mouse down, you can come down and select transparency. Now when you do that, you get some tools at the top here. Now I want to show you this first. With it on the company name, I'm going to drag and drop across the name. Now what this is doing is creating a white edge and a dark edge. Um, you're creating a transparency across and the point that you're selecting here is the point at which it's getting from darker to lighter. Now it's going to be kind of opposite of what it implies. You'll notice the black is on the right and it's whiter on the light. So it's kind of the opposite of what it's implying here. Um, this is a way to do a faded watermark, fading from one color to another. Um, Another thing you can do, let's undo everything we've done there. Another thing you can do here, um, take your watermark, we'll go to the transparency, but at the top on this pull down, I'm going to select uniform. Now, this is going to give me a uniform transparency across the board. And I have a slider here at the top. If I go to the left, you'll notice it gets darker, and as I go to the right, it gets lighter. Now, once I have the transparency set to where I want it, you can actually pick your selector tool and just put your company name wherever you want it. You'll notice that it's actually fading in. You can actually see the image coming through at this point. Perfect watermark. You can do the same thing with objects. I've created an object here. And I'm just going to set the transparency on this object. Set this to normal. And give it a little bit of transparency. So now we, if you have a company logo you want to put behind it, you could put your logo into the image itself and then save your artwork. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have here at Condi Systems, give me a call to 1-800-826-6332, uh, option 2 for technical support, or you can send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.